Hello everyone, this is Keith here, and today I uh, got a new keyboard, actually. Uh, it was yesterday that I got it. And uh, today I'm just going to sort of do a sound test and uh, just sort of give my general opinion on the keyboard itself. Now the keyboard I purchased is a mechanical keyboard, my first one. It is the CM, or Cooler Master Storm, uh, Quick Fire Rapid. It is the 10 keyless version, meaning that it does not have a no numeric pad. And it, I got the Cherry MX Blue switches, which are a little loud, but that's what, you know, is kind of nice about them, right? And it was my first mechanical keyboard. I just thought, you know, I'd go for a more tactile feel. Um, and that's what the Cherry MX Blues offer. They offer a, a really good sound and tactile feel. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of type... Uh, at random stuff, just sort of stuff I do on a daily basis just to sort of show you guys the uh, sort of rhythm that the keyboard has. And then I'm going to compare it to my crappy uh, $10 Logitech keyboard. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to position my microphone directly above the keyboard. Now I'm not going to uh, silence out any background audio because I kind of feel like you guys should hear the, uh, the keyboard in an ambient setting, right? so you guys get an idea how it sounds. So let me just go ahead and turn the microphone. And I'm going to just start typing. This is with the microphone pretty much directly above my keyboard. So there you go. And you will see keys come up on the bottom of the screen. That's because I'm using a, a uh, program called uh, Screen Key. Still getting used to the uh, layout of a 10 keyless keyboard. It's actually taking me a little bit. Uh, but yeah, anyway, the uh, screen key utility was recommended to me uh, by Got Leto, I think is his uh, YouTube name. I can't quite remember it, but uh, yeah, I'll make sure to put an annotation to his video. I'm going to sort of slow down now so you guys, uh, instead of typing quickly, I'm going to sort of press the key down slowly so you can hear it all the way. Yes, yeah, so there you go. With a little bit of accuation, you get that really satisfying click. It's really nice. I really like that click. And the, uh, the uh, space bar sounds a bit like that. You have the backspace, and you have enter. Yeah, and I do use this keyboard for gaming as well, and it's pretty good for gaming. Um, it does kind of feel a little weird hitting the keys multiple times, like if I'm doing WASD, I need to, you know, quickly go between them, and I'm always holding down W, and it's kind of weird, because you can kind of feel that blues aren't meant for that. They're meant to be, like, released, you know, they're more meant for typing. Um, but it's definitely not that bad, like, it's really, it's fine, really. Uh, this keyboard also has media keys, uh on the top of it and you activate them by holding the function key and then hitting uh, a key on the yeah like right there I just did the raise audio media key uh, yeah you just hold function and hit one of the F buttons and uh, yeah it does that uh, so yeah you know this keyboard's pretty cool it's my first mechanical keyboard it's very low profile uh, it'd be good in a sort of confined uh, working environment um, and yeah, I just really love this thing. It took me about a day to get used to typing on a 10 key and well, I mean that's kind of a lie. I'm still not entirely used to it, but uh, it, I'm, uh, in, a, in about a day I made several less uh, mistakes as I was making previously. Um, yeah, it's a good keyboard. It, it's got a bit of weight to it. Compared to my uh, Logitech keyboard, like that weighs like, I don't even know, a pound. This is like so it weighs like five pounds maybe. I don't know how much this weighs, but it's really heavy, uh, surprisingly. Like when you really 
like pick it up it's got a good bit of weight to it um, and it does feel of high quality you know it feels like it feels like it's very thick so yeah that's really nice it ain't going anywhere right it has a detachable USB cable in the back which is kinda cool because that makes it more portable because you could pull the cable out and uh, just sort of take the cable and the keyboard with you um, and yeah I mean uh, yeah, just just listen to it sounds really good uh, and yeah I mean the detachable keyboard's cool it's a bit of a pain to take out though it's kinda in there good and you kinda have to really plug it in there uh, it has these like ridges in the back of it that let you sort of uh, you know run the cable to the left or right wherever you want the cable to go out which is nice for cable management uh, it's pretty cool uh, it's a pretty cool keyboard and I like how uh, the back when you hit cap locks uh, there's like a light on the cap locks key itself that's actually pretty neat that's a neat little way to save space you know yeah, and here's my cheap Logitech membrane keyboard. I just got to swivel around here. So I just got my cheap Logitech K120, which is what I upgraded from. All right, now let's listen to this thing. Yeah, it, it does have, yeah, I don't know. And honestly, uh, I've, this is a, this is a, Ever since I've gotten this new mechanical keyboard, uh, I pretty much ruined myself because I don't think I could ever go back to these cheap membrane uh, rubber dome keyboards. They, once you really sort of use a good keyboard or even a decent keyboard and go to these, it's just very like, they feel very mushy, right? And I'm actually holding the, the uh, cheap plastic Logitech up closer to the microphone so you guys can get a better hear. And yeah, I don't know. It just feels really awful once you really felt a good mechanical keyboard. Like these are, uh, this is just awful. Like they're very mushy. I mean, it's fine, really. Like it's not the end of the world if I had to go back to a membrane keyboard, but I would definitely lament it, you know, because these keys they feel kind of mushy in comparison, and then it's just they just don't feel like good build quality. Whereas the Cherry MX Blues just feel amazing. And you just have that satisfying tactile click. And it just feels really, really good. Anyway, so yeah, that's my uh, review, I guess you could say, of the uh, CS Storm, uh, CM Storm Quick Fire Rapid. Jeez, that's a, that's a name right there. Once again, I have the 10 keyless version. Uh, with Cherry MX Blue keys. If you're going to go for, if you're more of a gamer, I would get the reds. Uh, they don't have that satisfying click uh, like the blues do. Uh, but yeah, if you're more of a typist, I would recommend the blues just because they sort of give better feedback. And in my experience, I've definitely, you know, uh, really, really noticed when I'm like typing in the wrong key or something like that. It's a very good keyboard. Uh, highly recommend it. It's cheap. I got it for $75 off of uh, Amazon, which isn't that bad at all. And uh, yeah, Go Squad 57. Signing out.